Okay, hello guys. So I'm here again because this is the continuation of my project. So if you remember, my fr the first part was like I primed the inside cabinet. After after an hour with that, I waited for two an hour. Then I put the paint in this one. It is coated with two paint, only one prime. I did not wait for 24 hours to get it painted because it's only in the inside. What matter me most is the outside, the outside of the cabinets, because we won't, because it, inside we're gonna get cut, it gets covered with some pots and pans. So the the important um look would be in the outside. So it's two coats of paint. This is uh, the color is a mocha, mocha. It's or it's just an ordinary paint. It's not for cabinets because I have like an extra paint from my previous um, house and this one because I want it to look like to match with the uh, with the uh, doors with the doors. So I, I have to paint this side with the same color with my door. It's still a more a morning dove. So when you when you wanted it to not to paint on this side, you have to make sure you put the tape, the painter's tape, so it doesn't it, it doesn't ruin your project. You can see. To remove this one. And see like that you can see from the outside okay and I'm also gonna show you the how I painted the door cabinets because the first the first part was only priming right three 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 coats of prime and with this one too it has one two primes Two coats of prime primer and then three coats of paint. It I it is like three coats of paint because the the previous color stained was a darker stain, so I have to to coat it with three. Though the primer cover it's itself the color, but as well I wanted to make sure that that to look like even even coat you can see that's the the finish painted okay so i'm going down now to the workshop room to paint the door cabinets okay just to let you know i use this this paint for for cabinets for trims, metal and wood, doors, trim, and cabinetry. So, this is good for cabinets. So, I have to mix it first before I can use this because it's been a, it's been a while that I haven't used this. And this is for painting. Okay, so we're gonna paint the the door. So again, we have to follow the wood grain, the direction of the wood. This is three coats of paint.
Okay. And we have to paint the corners too. Okay, so you, as you can see, this is the painted, this is the painted, and this is the one that not yet painted. See the difference? Okay, I'm going to show you again, paint the cabinet. It's the front side of the cabinet. Follow the direction of the wood grain. Okay. Yeah. Egg long as a throne. Asaman mong papa at run. And so I use another a brush for the stroke of the corners. Because you want to make sure that it's covered with paint. And again, if you have like a drip of paint in there, you have to If you have a drip of, of paint, you have to roll it or brush it because once it gets dry, it's really hard. It's really hard to to re, re, refinish because we have to do another sanding and then so it's better to keep it nice and smooth. Okay. I also painted the, the corners too, the side. So, I have more time the next time. Okay. So, that's for now. We're going to leave this for an hour. And then we have to coat another, another paint. Okay. So this one is already dry. You can touch it. There's no marks of paint. I can put back all the stuff that was inside. If you're thinking why I didn't put any any wallpaper or something to hold in here because I'm um, or wall sticker or anything that protect the the cabinets so I'm thinking if I put something in here that my paint the the one I painted is useless if I I just put something because it would not appreciate the your hard work of painting inside the cabinet so it's i should not put anything inside or cover protector for this because i want to appreciate my painting my hard work okay so we're on the second coat of paint now 
the same direction you follow the grain and coat in each corner in each side we don't have to prime this one because this is our painting na. our painting so after an hour again you have to coat and that's the last the last paint three coats of painting and after that you have to wait at least few hours maybe two hours once it is dry or maybe just leave it for five hours because because you have to put back all the hinges and you don't want to ruin your 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 work so it's better be safe five hours is good and then you you can put back all your hinges and screws and knobs and then i will show you the my finished product Okay, so it's already two coats. After that, we'll have another another coat for a third one. Okay, this is our third coat. Okay, after three coatings of paint, it's already dry. I already put back all the hinges and doorknobs. And this is what it looks like. And thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, press like, press like, subscribe, and watch a video, yo! Thank you. Bye bye.